Thanks for staying with us here at TV8 and Good Morning Vale. Joining us right now, Peter Wadden with the town of Vale. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thanks for making the trek from Vale up to Beaver Creek. My you know, pleasure. we have Beaver Creek right behind us, but you're here to talk more about kind of the ecology and how we can protect our rivers, more uh, in particular, Gore Creek, which runs through Vale. Yeah, so Gore Creek's been facing some problems the last few years. We were listed by the state as an impaired waterway in 2012 due to low macroinvertebrate numbers. And macroinvertebrates are the bugs that live in the stream. They're kind of the canary in the coal mine to ecologists. They're the first things uh, that that are most susceptible to pollution, but they're also the foundation of the food chain. So they're a really, really important part of the creek ecology sure. um, and a really important indicator for us of how well the creek is doing. All right, you're scaring me. I'll be, I'm a fisherman. Um, you know, bugs are a key part of that. And, and it is true, it's like in the ocean when you have, you know, the smallest, uh, you know, anything in the you know, something eats that, something eats that, and it gets, you know, more and more down the road. Um, this is kind of dangerous right now. What causes this? Well, it's all interconnected, you know, and a lot of it's got to do with the things that humans do, that we do, that we don't realize have an impact on the creek. So all our hardscapes, all our landscaping that has replaced the native forests and the native riparian vegetation, that vegetated buffer along the creek sides, all that native vegetation used to filter the runoff. The roots of those plants held the soil together along the banks. And when we replace that stuff with pavement, um, or even lawns, turf lawns, that don't filter the water as well, that makes it easier for pollution, for chemicals, for sediment to get into the stream and have an impact on the critters that live in there, the things like the mayflies, the caddisflies, and stoneflies that if you're an angler, you're certainly familiar with mm -hmm. um, and are important food sources for trout and birds. And this is surprising because you look at Gore Creek, there's the Gore Mountain Range, the majestic Gore Mountain Range in the backdrop, and it is so pristine. And, you know, all, a lot of us were just kayaking that over the past month or so. Um, it seems like it's in a perfect condition, but what you're saying is, you know, underneath the surface, this is where the problem lies. Yeah, it's the stuff we can't necessarily see that we have to take a deeper look at. And outside of the urban corridor in Vail, things are doing pretty well. But once you get into those areas that are more hit, uh, more hard hit, more impacted by human concentration, um, the bug numbers really start to fall. And we're seeing that down valley as well now too. How do we help out with this? I mean, you're, this is your job is to look after the creek and, and to uh, promote these programs. What is it that we can do as viewers that would help promote a healthier river? A lot of people don't realize that storm sewers on the streets uh, run straight into the creek unfiltered, so making sure you're not pouring anything down a storm drain is really important. The other thing that the average person can do is landscaping, more native landscaping to help filter that runoff. And more information is available. Yeah, lovevale.org. Oh, that's a good, and uh, any symposiums or events or if people just wanted to talk to you about this? Yeah, tomorrow we're having an event at the Lion's Head Welcome Center at noon. We'll be giving free lunch and Nicola Ripley, the executive director of the Betty Ford Alpine Gardens, will be talking about the importance of that riparian buffer and uh, native landscaping ideas. Peter, thanks. This is great information. Thanks, Ken. Telephone number and website once again? Lovevale.org. Uh, and 479-2144. Great to have you, Peter. Once again, looking after Gore Creek down through Vale, but also fly fishing. Do you fish? I do. Uh, me too. And bugs are a key part of that. We've got your fly fishing report next.